Hi, welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. Putting out two videos today because I have no life and the kids are napping and what else am I going to do? So I wanted to share with you was something I did yesterday which was, um, it was crafty but not really crafty, it was great. I made a time capsule and a school journal for my daughter who just started JK. And um, I've been wanting to do her scrapbook, her school scrapbook, for a long time. But to be honest, I'm years behind in my scrapbooking because it's a lot of work. And it's also costly to buy all the stickers because I, I sticker because I don't have all the stamps and whatever. The point is I haven't got around to doing it. So I was feeling kind of guilty. And while I was surfing YouTube, I came across a channel called K McKay Designs. And I'm going to put it down below. She is like my hero. I am so in love with her ideas. And envious of her, she's amazing. You have to check out her channel. Great, easy things that you can do, and she does the hard work for you, and you can just download things off her website. So I'll attach actually the PDF attachment for what I did yesterday. And basically, what it was, it was such a cute idea, and I sealed the time capsule, and I apologize, I shouldn't have done that because I can't open it to show you, but I'll just tell you what's inside. Um, what I did, all this do not open and everything, I printed off off the PDF file, which I'll attach. I just added her picture and the JK. Again, it's all there. I just added the paper in the back. And it's a time capsule. So it says, do not open till July 11. And that's, of course, when she graduates JK. And inside it has her handprint, her footprint, um, all of her favorite things, how much she weighs, a picture of her just standing in front of the wall, and, and cute little things like that. And a picture she drew of her family. And then at the end of the year, it's got blank pages inside to do it all again. So you'll open it up at the end of the year and you'll spend, it took me 10 minutes to ask her the questions and to put paint on her hand and do her footprint. So you'll do it all again. And then you'll have, see how much she's grown and how much she's changed in that year. So it's just a fun little project. I did decoupage, I've never decoupaged before. I bought Mod Podge at, the, at uh, Walmart yesterday. So, and just an old, like a, not an old envelope, but like an envelope. They came in a pack of five for a dollar. So it's like a cardboard envelope. And then I put a piece of paper on top. Then I put the picture and all this stuff. And then I Mod Podge, which I'd never done. And I was like, I wrecked it. Because it's all like smeary and you couldn't see your picture. And I'm like, I have done it wrong. But then it dried clear. Whew. So I'm totally addicted to Mod Podge now. I don't know what else I can, I can decoupage or whatever. But it's awesome. And I just did that so that the pages didn't catch. So at the end of the year... You put that section in the About Me section in her school journal. So again, I just um, put a piece of paper and put some stuff. This all came in it. It has like detailed instructions on her website, which I'm going to attach for you. I don't know what's falling in there. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just slid it inside. And then inside we have the About Me column. And you'll see it. I did ask her some, some questions. Same thing that's in the... Um, in the time capsule and then you fill it out on this side and then all the extra pages that are in the time capsule will go in here at the end so you'll have it forever in your little journal then it says my highlights I don't know if you can see this my highlights and um, I just went back because it's November and I did it yesterday but I like backtracked we're not that far behind you still have time to do this and I just filled in like her first day the day she wore the tutu the day she went to school all like her cool days and then she came home yesterday and told me a funny story so I took like literally a second and filled it in. So I'm not going to fill this out obviously every day, but maybe once a week or whenever she has a funny story at school, I'm just going to write down a few things that she said about that day. It also has school pictures, which she hasn't got back yet, but you just put those in the class picture in here. My field trips, again, it's all printed off. I have it all for you. Just hit print and you're done. Um, she can draw her, where she went on the field trip. And then lastly, my artwork. And I just put in all her yeah, artwork. I had it in another box. But what a fun thing to do to keep it in this quarter inch binder and have one for every year. Now you're going to have to be selective with the arm, art, artwork because it's not that big of a binder. But whatever. You can get a bigger binder, I guess. Um, and I'm just going to put her newsletters in the very back. Maybe she'll want to see this one day when she's old and gray. Maybe not. But I feel better that I'm like, I'm not scrapbooking, but I'm keeping her memories. Because I printed this all off the Came and Came Designs website, literally, even to Mod Podge and glue and put it all together, it took me an hour. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling like a good...
good mom now. <laughs> so check it out. Great idea. Check out some of our other sites. And like I said, I will attach the link, so copy and paste it, and you can download this and make it yourself. It's only November, you still have time, and you'll feel like a super good mom too. <laughs> Which you may already, but anyways, that's your tip of the day, and we'll see you next time.